Hey guys, GHCD here, back with another video. Hello and welcome to the Lost Horse Hideout Rules Guide. This video covers the basic rules that all members of the Lost Horse Hideout have to follow and adhere to. To make sure the standards of our runs remain high, Every member is expected to know these rules, as breaking any of them will lead to warning, or in more severe cases, a ban. So let's get started. Rule number one. Do not crash. Every member is expected to wait for a location call by one of the leaders in charge of the raid. The only people allowed at the location before he is called are leaders, file holders, and key holders. If you find the location, and are none of these, simply leave and wait for the call out. Rule number two, opening any keys at all inside the bazaar to block the way of the Lost Halls portal or any inside the Lost Halls will result in a warning from the leaders. If four keys are popped by the same person, it will result in a ban. Rule number three, do not drag or peek any rooms. Every type of room in a Lost Halls has an aggro range, and while some rooms will no doubt leak enemies, most leaks can be prevented by keeping in the center of the room that has been cleared and not peeking any rooms that are yet to be explored. Although peeking does sometimes result in finding a pot room, or even a tea room, the potential five minutes saved are not worth the consequence of someone dying. Simply make sure to keep a tight formation with your group and follow the leader's directions. Rule number four, do not move when a spooky boy is trapped. Spooky boy is a random encounter in the Lost Halls and can easily be trapped on the edge of a wall. If a leader calls to stop moving, you're expected to remain still until it's confirmed that Spooky Boy has despawned. It is important to note that Spooky Boy is not guaranteed to pop up in every run, but can also spawn more than once. If someone does move during Spooky Boy, it will result in a warning or even a ban if the mistake caused a death or made people nexus. Rule number five. Rude comments towards other members or leaders during the run can result in a warning. If you have anything you are unhappy with, you can message one of many moderators. If you decide to take the route of verbal abuse, you will be muted by other members and in more extreme cases, receive a warning. Rule number six, no spamming. Spamming any sort of messages to block people's screens or just be overall annoying is not accepted or allowed. Rule number seven, during most Lost Halls runs, there are eight to 15 people selected to do cultists. This is done automatically. Those assigned to do cultists will receive an additional message as the groups are being split. It is recorded who should go into a cultist run, and if a member decides to ignore the message and not go, they will be found out and it will result in a ban. The system allows our runs to be self-sustainable and everyone has to contribute. If you are assigned cultists for after Nexus, message any of the leaders in charge of your run so they can assign a new person to take your place. If you are selected by a leader to do the cultist as a substitute, do not argue with it and simply help complete the cultist. Rule number eight. The boss room in the Lost Halls is indicated by a breakable wall. Please do not break the wall until given permission by a leader. The Marble Colossus should not be activated until all the flames are returned to the treasure room and everyone is grouped up in front of the wall ready to start the boss. Rule number nine. Do not bring any unmaxed characters. It is common practice in public Lost Halls to bring a throwaway 08 with Devo. Here the runs are much more organized and you do not have to worry about dying. Although no one will tell you what class to bring, no member is allowed to bring an unmaxed character. Every character must be maxed in at least at attack and dexterity. Your class choice is fully dependent on you, however, bringing support classes is greatly appreciated as not only do they have high survivability, but also help the whole group out. If you are looking for guidance on what classes to choose, there will be a video posted on the Discord that explains the pros and cons of each class and how to play it. Rule number 10. Any form of leeching inside the dungeon is not allowed. Seeing AFK in rooms or taking others' breadcrumb positions will be noticed and you will be warned. There are breaks in between runs that you can use to take toilet breaks. If you need to leave during a run for one minute, message one of the leaders for permission. Rule number 11. Enjoy yourself. This is just a game and Lost Halls can be really fun. No other dungeon brings this many people together and takes this much effort to complete. The rules are here to make sure that everyone has a good experience with Lost Halls and the runs are safe for everyone. I think it's safe to say there's no one that enjoys dishing out bands. Spooky.
Many scary skeletons and shivers down your spine Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight Spooky scary skeletons speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek By all contributors towards creating the perfect communist server Thank you for your attention and good luck we're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize. I don't think we should. A spooky, scary skeleton shouts startling, shrilly screams. They'll sneak on their sarcophagus and just won't leave you be.